There's only one thing that all these fine fellows in blue can mean. It's basketball season again, Thunderbird. Time to break out the popcorn and get yourself a front row seat for what is guaranteed to be another one-of-a-kind Thunderbird butt whooping. They're certainly excited to get started, so why aren't you? These boys have been training long and hard to get a chance to face any and everything the rest of the state has to offer. The coaches are working their absolute hardest to get the team in tip-top shape. They're running drills upon drills to get as many wins as possible for you, the Thunderbird Chiefs. They're shooting and running and push-up-ing to victory. It's an unbeatable team with some old favorites and some scintillating new rookies, including such illustrious names as John Cannon, the comeback kid with the hot new shoes. Cole Forbrigadid, the star with a golden arm. Brett Moore, the man with the golden hair. That, that coach holding the ball with an unknown fascination for a completely unrelated game. With their new shooting drills, the team is making swish after swish after swish after swish. Except where John Cannon is concerned. If they appear tired, it's because they're tired of winning so easily. Tired of being so darn good. They're running in rectangular patterns for you, Thunderbird. For you. The Chiefs are so good, they applaud their victories before the games have even begun. That's confidence if I've ever seen it, folks. And well-deserved confidence at that. The first game starts Monday, November 22nd against Koganino High School. So come out and watch your boys in blue beat the pants off some of their athletic inferiors. And as the kids say, be there, dirtbag! Hey, Thunderbird, it's that time again. That's right, it's time for a sports update from your boys at the front lines. As promised earlier, the Thunderbird Chiefs have massacred most all of their opponents. Most recently, the pathetic Moon Valley Rockets. I don't know about you, Thunderbird, but I've seen epileptic children make better shots than that. Zane Johnson protective mask gives him special powers over the opposition. Power to sink every shot he makes. Tremble as Stefano Fortuna and John Cannon heat up those benches with a heroic, fiery passion. As we see here, Thunderbird subscribes to the when all else fails, just slap the guy philosophy of basketball. Cole Forbrig is still really, really tall and really good at shooting three-pointers. Watch in awe as Trevor McKnight passes the ball with deft precision. Skylar Wersig with moves unmatched by anyone near his height. Look at him, folks. He's like a miniature Michael Jordan, but white, and not playing basketball against cartoon characters. Lee Hendrickson in his Devil May Care basketball debut. Led by the experienced coach, the Thunderbird Chiefs learn proper sitting around in a circle and listening techniques. Their dedicated fans, the Thunderbird T-Squad, was there to profess their dedication to the team and scream obscenities at their opponents. The score speaks for itself, Thunderbird, and specifically, it speaks that we beat them by 12 whole points.